Welcome ladies and gentlemen, Gorhamian here with Misfit Studios as always, and today we're going to be taking a look at HitFilm Pro, more specifically HitFilm Pro 15. FX Home just released the new update for HitFilm Pro, and of course if you guys are not a HitFilm Pro user and you're a HitFilm Express user, HitFilm Express 15 was released at the same time. We're going to be making a video on that at a later time. What I wanted to do today is go into some of the new things that they've added with HitFilm Pro 15. Some of them large, some of them small, but all very important to make your guys life easier before i want to start the video today i just wanted to thank everybody that is a subscriber if you have not subscribed yet i did notice that most of you whoever watching this videos here at misfit studios have not yet subscribed so hit just hit that sub button hit the bell so you guys don't miss anything out on misfit studios and let's jump into the video all right so hit film pro 15. um there's been some few changes, some little bit of some small things, some big things. Um, we're going to actually look at the small things first. So let's go ahead and grab our stock footage and we're going to just toss it in the timeline. We're going to be using this um, for the majority of some of the effects and stuff that they've added in. Um, I'm not going to go into a huge amount of detail on the effects. I'm just going to be breezing over them, mentioning them so you guys can jump into it and kind of see what's changed, what's new, how to use them. Um, if you guys want to see some of those effects in, you know, maybe some later videos, please comment down below. First things first, there is actually a two different um, effects that have added in that you can use on your timeline. You don't have to make a composite shot. So the very first effect that we're going to be talking about is auto stabilization. We're just going to go type in auto stabilizer. And if it's not in, of course, mine is in the recents because I've used it before, um, but down here in video cleanup. And so if you're one of those that like to search for it uh, manually, it's in video cleanup and auto stabilize. You drag and drop just like, you know, a transition, if you will, on your timeline. And so what it's going to do, it's this auto stabilizer is going to, um, analyze each and every frame within the video clip that you put in. And so if you only, only want to stabilize a very small portion, go of course, um, use your slice tool, make it smaller or you know shorten the duration of it and hit film will take over when you apply that effect. As you can see though, if you highlight the auto stabilizer, it has now added all of these different tracks within your footage. And if we scrub through this, um, if you've got a lot of movement, a lot of, you know, let's say some assets in your screen, some a lot of actors, that kind of thing. What's going to happen is you're going to get kind of a lot of jerking motion. It's not going to be as stable as you want it. So let's go ahead and just play through that. And you can actually see just a little bit. And of course, when the lion's head goes, um, the footage kind of gets a little crazy. To fix that though, all you have to do is make sure that this remove is highlighted. Come up here, make sure that you've got your auto stabilizer function highlighted over here as well. Um, if you don't, this won't be here. So if you hit, click like the clip properties, just make sure that that auto stabilizer effect is functioning. You click over here and then just make a selection here. And what it'll do is it'll, it'll reanalyze those keyframes that HitFilm Pro has put in and that will then remove them from the footage. And so that's exactly what you're doing is you're telling HitFilm, hey, you know what? I don't want you to track this point because it's messing with the stabilization. And so go ahead and do that, um, you know, as many times, as many um, keyframes as you want. And until you get the desired result on some nice stable footage. If you wanna do it the old way too, it's a little bit more time consuming. I do have a video on that. I'll put that in the link description below if you guys wanna figure out how to stabilize shaky video the long way first, and then you guys can come and do this and see just how easy it is than doing it the other way. All so, right, so now that we've got the video stabilization down, what I wanna do now is actually go over to the one of the clips on our timeline. I know this is something that's really small, and if you highlight the video clip in your timeline, any video clip that you've put in there, whether it's um, you know shortened or lengthened or the speed and the duration are different, doesn't matter what you've done to it. If you go up to the controls, you can actually see this behaviors, okay? Um, and it's along with the effects panel. So if you click on behaviors, a little green arrow, what you're going to do is drop down the behavior and you're gonna actually um, change some of, well, just that, some of the behavior of that clip as opposed to trying to track down, you know, a specific effect that you want the same thing to do. Um, a lot of it has to do with motion and size. So if you want to be, you know, animating the motion and size of a lot of your video clips, then the behavior um, under the controls tab is going to be your best friend. There's a lot of different things. If you want to, you know, down insert, down roll, um, fly to zoom in, left roll. It's a lot of animation things with these. Instead of trying to go into the um, transform tab, 
and actually doing this and doing everything manually. You can actually just add one of those behaviors to the video clip and go from there. It makes things a lot easier. The very last thing that I want to talk about today, the new mask shapes. So if you notice over here in your viewer, um, you've actually got a rectangle mass, a mask, rather. If you grab this, it's just the typical rectangle mask. It's the exact same icon and everything, only you notice that there's a tiny little arrow to the bottom right of that rectangle. Uh, let's go ahead and delete that one. Now, if you click and hold left mouse button, it will actually bring up a drop-down menu that has a lot of different options. So if we go to the rounded rectangle mask, you just... Hold left mouse button when you highlight the one you want let go of it and it'll select that one drag and drop and then you can actually change the radius on the rounded rectangle the rounded cornered rectangle i guess and then of course if you go ahead and hold down you've got a polygon and it will give you a polygon it'll show how many points you want you can change that and you can give it some roundness too which makes it a really interesting different shapes and of course last but not least we've got the star you can go ahead and add that star in the nice thing about doing these different kinds of shapes if you go to the free once you've put in your mask and let's say you want you know 12 points on this star and you want the ratio to be 50 percent everything else is going to be um you know just like it is default go ahead and exit out of that what we can do is actually go to the freehand mask tool and you can then change all of these points individually. So if you guys have got some really crazy shape that you want to mask out that kind of resemble a star or something that you know well, you don't want to sit there and click a whole bunch of times, you can just go ahead and add in the star, add a whole bunch of points, and then go to the freehand mask tool and go from there. You can animate these just like with any other mask. You can animate the path. You can um, you know, make them appear or disappear just like you can with any other mask point within HitFilm Pro. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching. Gorhamian here with Misfit Studios, as always. And like I say again, please hit that subscribe button. It helps us out greatly here at Misfit Studios. Hit the bell icon, too, so you guys don't miss out on any future content here. And we will see you guys next time.